love the Path Academy. I've gained friends, <laughs> which is like so cheesy and corny to say, but I've actually gained a couple of friends through my pod. Our goal for Path Academy was really to create a professional development program for our up and coming leaders. We know that everyone within the organization is a leader and that they're doing so much day to day, but we really wanted to help give the tools so that they could move forward in their career on their trajectory and with their interests. I think one of the most important aspects that I look for, and not just a leader, but anybody that I work with, is someone's ability to, to be introspective. We can't really move towards our potential unless we're able to acknowledge where we are and where we need to grow. And I think the only way to do that is to, to be vulnerable with yourself and with others. You all showed up with humility, transparency, and vulnerability. You all talked about the areas where you did not feel comfortable as a leader, through the PATH Academy, it really just kind of made it okay to fail, okay to try something new, that we're all human, that we all are going through this experience together. A lot of times I would second guess myself, like I'm not good enough and I'm not smart enough, but now I know that I deserve to have the seat at the table and I am confident and I am smart and I am enough and Whatever decision I make for the clients is the best decision. We're all in this line of work because we feel called to serve others and to advocate for others that can't always advocate for themselves. I think that homelessness is an issue that's not far from most of us. You know, um, if it's one or two paychecks, you know, a lot of our situations can become pretty dire pretty quickly. Really what it comes down to is like people are deserving of shelter, they're deserving of food, those basic necessities. If all of us can have those things, then we can actually really thrive as a society. That's like my, my ultimate goal is just that one day we can really end homelessness and that we don't just see ourselves as like individualistic, but we see ourselves as family and that we look out for each other and that we care for each other, that, you know, that person that's out on the street can be also one day me. I've worked with people that maybe they were on the street for 20 years to be able to get to that point where you actually help someone make it home. That is like one of the best feelings ever. Homelessness is a statewide issue that has been decades in the making, and it's going to take people with different backgrounds from all over the state in order to end it. PATH Academy has enabled me to build relationships with people from San Jose to San Diego who are approaching the issue from a lot of different angles, whether that be housing construction or housing navigators or outreach specialists. In order to end homelessness, we know that we have to come together as a team. And when we developed PATH Academy, it was with this idea in mind that we needed a professional development opportunity in-house, that we needed to be able to showcase the work that we do, but also learn from you, learn your stories, learn your trials, your fears, and share ours as well. Path Academy really has a two-pronged approach. There are hard skills such as nonprofit finance, quality assurance, media training, just to mention a few, as well as what we call soft skills, which is a mentorship component. So they work one-on-one -on -one with an executive staff member in a small group so that they can really talk about how are those learnings integrating into their day-to-day -day life or their day-to-day -day role. Also just talk about areas of opportunity that they might be seeking. I think we all can say that we have been inspired by someone in the academy. Hearing all the different stories of services from all of you, the journeys of our different leaders, and the interaction through our individual pods, we were able to get more in depth with our roles at PATH. Stop and reflect on your journey because sometimes we move too fast and we don't acknowledge where we came from. Celebrate your growth and your success over the years. Remember, the progress and the growth that you've made.